We bought a single double bed machine on eBay. It's a 2200 model and found out that it's exactly the same than our Superba S48 that we already had. Both the beds and the carriages are exactly the same. In part one of the videos we went through the various inspection steps and did several repairs like fixing the carriages or cleaning the needles. Then we found out that the needle spring is broken. Some needles didn't want to be activated and kept sliding back down. That needle brake spring or needle retention spring looked horrible. And we ordered a couple new ones for 16 bucks each. So I'm not sure how long these things are supposed to be. This is the original that was in there. And this is the new one and if I basically straighten them out, it looks like the new one is much longer. On the other hand, the old one is much more dense. I can't push it together, whereas the new one can be pushed together. So I have no idea what's right or wrong. I ordered two of them. They both had a slightly different length. And again, that might be just how dense the, the, these springs are. So I guess the next step is we'll install it and see if it works. Here's a little disc and we slide it on that little disc, leave about three or four rings free. No. Okay, and then on that side, same story, leave about two or three and slide it on the disc. You need to push that spring over the needles. So you see it, it's further down than here. And then the ground wire can be put into that groove. To install the railing, I first uh, fixed two screws in the regular position and then I turned the bed around for easier access to the screws. So let's test the mechanics. That runs nice and balanced. The needles move. So before we can start knitting, let me inspect that counter which holds the tension mast. This is supposed to be more flexible. I think they tightened that screw too much. It's not supposed to be totally tight. So let me open it up a little bit. Next, let me add some machine oil. Because this thing is supposed to slide. starting to move. Okay, now we are talking. The next thing that's not right is that counter thing is not supposed to point downwards but come out this way. I see a little screw here. So let's see if you can open that up. Yep, that goes easy. And then I manually adjust it like uh, this for now, but later we need to fine adjust it once we test it. So to install that thing, I'll slide it to the right point. Oops. Which is this way. And pull it. Now it's installed. Let's test it. It's not 
adjusted yet. A little bit higher. Beautiful. Then we can install the tension rod. The tension unit itself is also badly bent. So I removed those things to better be able to bend it. Here are those two feathers. And here that thing, not sure what's supposed to do, but we'll find out. And let me try to take some heavy tool and bend it more straight. So now it's repaired, all the things are tightened again and straightened. So this is the mechanism. I'm not really sure yet how it works to break, but follow the instruction manual and I'm now installing it. So the wool goes through here, then it goes over the break underneath the other thing goes through here up there and voila let's give it a try Ooh, nice so i added the comb with the weight and i changed it to round knitting and let's give it a try. Ooh. Whoa, nice. So back to regular knitting. Uh, let me change the stitch size. Well, three might be good enough. Let me change the counter. and try awesome it works <laughs>